Today we create some really cool light leaks in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this quick tip video. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you guys how to create some really interesting and cool light leaks in After Effects without using any third party plugin. It's going to be 100% After Effects now. Recently, you must have seen this really cool light leaks in my slideshows and templates and whatsoever. So I'm going to show you guys how to create those and how you can use it in your templates as well. So yep, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and I have already loaded up my footage which I'm going to use for, you know, as a background for our light leaks. So right off the bat, I'm going to hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid and you can rename it whatever you want. I'm going to rename this to Light Leaks and hit OK. And then I'm going to go and add an effect called Fractal Noise which is an inbuilt effect in After Effects. And you can use this effect at various things, at number of things actually. But for now, for creating light leaks, I'm going to set the fractal type from basic to dynamic progressive. Then set the noise type from soft linear to spline. So we have something like this. Then just increase the contrast to let's say around 300. There we go. And decrease the brightness to around minus. Let's try with minus 80. Yep, that looks pretty good. And we can also bring down the complexity to one we don't need this kind of you know you can see if we increase the complexity we get this kind of a grungy look which can be used full in various other things but for now i'm gonna just set this to one then go to transform and increase the scale all the way up to 1000 so now we have something like that but as you can see it's not animating kind of a that light leaks how the light leaks animate and to you know animate it we need to keyframe or animate the evolution like that and to do this what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch to create an expression then i can type in an expression called wiggle and maybe i'll just set this to let's say around let's go with 5 comma 500 and just close this up so let's see now what we have it's too fast so maybe i'll just bring this down to one yep that is looking pretty good close this up now what i can do is now i need to color this up you know to create this really nice and subtle looking light leaks and to color this i'm going to use u and saturation so just you know add this right over there uh turn on this colorize by just hitting on it so you can see right off the bat we get this really cool colors maybe i'll increase the saturation all the way up to 100 and then we can animate it if you want a particular color you can just leave it on that you can decrease the saturation as well a bit maybe around let's go around 88 looks good and just set the blending mode to screen and right off the bat you're gonna get something like this looks pretty cool now to go with the scene maybe i'll just set this to kind of a blue color maybe something like that and, I, and as you can see it looks pretty good but i want to make it look colorful so i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the same thing hold alt and click on the stopwatch of colorize you and type in the expression wiggle this time i'm not this time i'm gonna go with 5 comma 40. So the colors are going to keep changing as you can see. And this looks really really good. Now to use this with templates what you can do is you can create a new null object and let's rename this to controller. We can just log this up. So now we have our controller layer. So let's add an effect not an effect actually an expression controller that is slider controller and then you can rename it to whatever that you want to rename this to maybe i'll just rename this to ll amount that is light leaks amount select the light leaks layer hit t to bring down opacity hold alt and click on the top watch and drag this pickwick to 
to the slider just like that and now you can you know increase the amount or basically you're just you know handling the opacity of the light leaks but you can, you know you can just use it according to your requirements if you want to really subtle light leak you can just set this down and this comes really handy when you create templates for video hype or more you know motion array and or something like that this comes in really really handy and this is what i do in my most of my every template so you know instead of using footage you can use this kind of controller it's really easy really simple to create and i hope it helps so that's a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and yes i read each and every comment so make sure you comment down below uh, you can also give some tutorial ideas if you want to and i'll try to create a tutorial on that particular thing if i find it really helpful and interesting so yep that's a wrap for today i hope this video helps and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative